Hello there Aquarius, welcome to your June. So I feel that this month overall is going to be a very dynamic month in which there will be a lot of opportunities for you to come into contact with, um, you know, a lot of, they're, they're saying um, famous or even, you know, powerful, influential people, okay? And uh, I also feel that some of you will be attending like professional slash social functions. And um, I do sense as well, while there is a reason for you to be there, you're going to feel a little bit more of a wallflower. You're going to feel like um, it, they're saying like you need to be really fast on your toes when it comes to, you know, like being able to... Um, mingle and being able to talk to people so it's not just you know mindless banter I feel that you're gonna have like a lot of uh, disparate um, conversations happening around you but the conversations seem a little bit more professional technical so there's just a lot happening a lot of events that you're being invited to and a lot of opportunities where you're gonna feel almost as if I don't really fit in, but at the same time, you know, in the process of attending these functions, I feel that they're going to be really good for you because the people that you're dealing with, the people that, you know, are in those, um, the, those environments, they're actually really good people. They care about, you know, the, they, they care about whatever causes it is. And they are also, um, very instrumental to your professional life, okay? So I feel like you're going to be called upon to attend a lot of social functions. Some of you, especially for those of you who are a little bit more on the shy end, and others of you, if you are especially a little bit more rigid, because, you know, by rigid, I mean um, if you hold on very, very tightly to your, your ideas, and if you tend to be a little bit more like defensive when it comes to your ideologies. Um, I am sensing that it might be a little bit more of a struggle when you c attend these functions. So they're saying to ease up a little bit, listen to other people's point of view, and, you know, um, aim for harmony, aim for, you know, a middle ground, aim for seeing things um, from a different viewpoint, okay? I feel like that's going to be really beneficial for you. Um, what I'm also feeling is that there might be, uh, for a few of you, there's going to be a review with another person. And there's going to be contracts, like new, um, you know, new protocol, new procedures, new contracts for work, for loans, whatever it is, they're being signed. And uh, I do see a lot of revision happening for you guys. And I see you, like, uh, filling out forms and documents as well and sending them off, okay? So... Overall, it's a little bit of a mixed bag of a month, and I also feel it's going to be busy. It's going to be hitting the ground running, very busy, things turning, you know, like hearing results, hearing news, hearing things from other people at the very last minute. So I do feel there's going to be a lot of things brewing and, and dotting the landscape of the June time frame. So it seems like you're going to be keeping yourself quite occupied. So... Let me just go into your reading here. Uh, one of the first things that I'm feeling as well is um, the idea about, you know, having a lot of opportunities for us to socialize, going out, meeting new people. And I do feel, once again, this is permeating in your uh, professional slash social circle. So you might be, uh, you might have friends at work and they're inviting you to, you know, um, uh, another like a, a networking event you might be hosting somebody for um, like a seminar or talk or something like that where you're going to be center stage and I do feel there are opportunities for you to rub elbows with a lot of good people okay uh, making connection creating that professional contact base and I do feel there will be opportunities where you're going to be kind of like in the limelight where you're going to have to speak from the heart and you're going to have to you know really allow other people to see who you are innately and as a result of that a lot of the times too I feel like some of you um you might feel you're you're not one to over explain okay so um and you're you're ability to make connection is highly intuitive so it's it's almost like you jump from a to z 
um, without having to process everything in between because the way your mind works is like lightning fast. And so at these gatherings, at these functions, you really want to be a little bit more methodical, you know, talking about first this happened, then this happened, then that happened, and as a result, that's why I'm here. Because I feel like people are interested in hearing the story, hearing how your mind works, hearing how you've arrived at the conclusion that you've arrived at. So they want to see the steps. They want you to describe to them the steps. So if there are important meetings, if there are important, you know, um, functions or important communication that needs to happen for the month of June, aim to slow down the process because I feel like you intuitively jump from A to Z and your audience, the person that you're interacting with, they're not on board with, you know, that type of lightning fast methodology and um, they might need more of a convincing so I feel like slowing down and explaining your mental processes how you have arrived at the conclusion that you've arrived at that's going to be really important okay so err on the side of having to over explain rather than explaining things uh, in a half-hearted attempt because I feel like it's gonna um, it, it might not go in your favor if you leave out important details that you feel is like oh that's intuitive they should already know that err on the side of over explaining rather than not okay um, so at these functions I do feel there's an element here of being a little bit of a wallflower um, kind of like you know one foot out the door so I feel that one of the things that you want to be careful about here is in life, right, we are given opportunities and um, opportunities for us to branch out, explore, travel, and as well interact with people that are not always like us. We are given these opportunities on an everyday level, on an everyday basis. And whether or not we choose to act on it, whether or not we choose to take up these opportunities, um, it's it's entirely up to human free will. And so I feel like the opportunities are plentiful and they're all around you. But people are just going to, you know, knock on your door and tell you, hey, here's uh, what I have. Here's this other uh, project I want you to be involved in. I feel that you need to step out of your comfort zone. You need to step out almost like of your ideology um, as well in order to interact with people that might be very different from you. And uh, I honestly feel even though you are a very social sign, deep down Aquarius is a fixed sign. So you do tend to, you know, uh, play in the same circle and you find comfort in the same circle. And so how you embody the energy for this month is going to be very important, okay? Aim to take up new opportunities. Step out of yourself a little bit. Don't create this wall and don't create this bubble um, to block people out or to, you know, do very minimal mingling and then sitting back on the sidelines and people watch because you love to people watch. Um, so I feel that in the process of doing so, clinging onto the status quo and doing the minimum just to get by, it's really going to hinder your professional development. So I feel that there will be contracts, okay? There will be discussions and there will be important contracts that are signed for this month. And you really want to think about long term, you know, what do I need to do to foster my best capability to, you know, have the best professional life that I can have? What do I need to do as well in order to... Um, I, I guess create that financial foundation. You know, how do I allow the spotlight to shine on me and how do I allow other people to see the real me okay how do I do that and especially because you're such a humanitarian sign and um, I feel like a lot of the times you don't really like to talk about yourself you talk about ideas ideologies philosophies and you know observations you don't talk about yourself. You don't talk about, you know, you don't really hype up your skills. You don't hype up your assets because you feel like, oh, no, that's arrogant. That's bragging. And so you kind of downplay all these important or all these wonderful things about yourself as well. And so in any type of an interaction, okay, there is that give and take balance between 
how much we reveal and how much we ask. And we want to aim for balance, but at the same time, keeping things too close, not divulging things that you know you feel other people would know so that they can know a little bit more about you, so that they can see you as someone who's a lot more approachable and a lot more emotionally available. I feel like that's really important for this month in your professional life. Okay, so um, allowing people, so like I, I guess like starting conversation or leaving, you know, that door for conversation to happen in a natural way, that's going to be really important for you. Okay, so Aquarius, I feel that opportunities are coming through, opportunities are, are majorly coming through, and I also feel there is something, there is an offer coming through. Some of you might have multiple offers coming through. And I feel this is um, more on the professional, on the public sphere front. Um, some of them, they're, they're coming with like uh, delays. They're coming with, you know, more stipulations, more conditions. And I feel that you're waiting on a major, 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 major news communication or a major contract with somebody like a, a person for a business partnership, a person for a partnership, even romantic partnership. Um, you're waiting on an entity, a company or something. You're waiting on the decision of another person. And it's it's been delayed. It's It's dragged on. And so you can't really make a move until you get the news, until you get the communication. And I do sense early on in the month, in, in the month of June, it is going to lift where you're getting that communication that you're hoping for. And so the setup for this month here is to be very clear about your intentions, okay? So for example, if for example, you want to hear from that person, don't think about the negative. Don't think about, oh, this person is never going to contact me because of A, B, C, and D because of all these things that you beat yourself up over. So don't dwell on those negativities and don't project, you know, negative energy, especially when you're waiting on something, when the decision has not been made yet. Don't imbue that energy stream with negativity. Does that make sense? And then I feel on the other hand, um, there is a major, major relationship here that some of you are kind of reassessing. And... Um, I do feel that this has been somewhat of a, you know, it, it's kind of like past that honeymoon stage. The relationship is kind of, so uh, people normally attribute, you know, the honeymoon stage with the first three months. And I feel for whatever, you've been dating this person probably for more than four months. And you're just like, what do I do now? Do we take things to the next level? Do we continue to see each other? Do we date exclusively? So I feel there is a major, major relationship in your life that you're trying to decide on. It makes you feel really good. It makes you feel very happy, ecstatic, very positive. You have somebody that is potentially very, very loving and caring and very mature. And you know, uh, when this card, this is a character card showing up in the reverse position, it's somebody that can, um, you might feel like they're not as emotionally available or emotionally as expressive. However, they have a lot of emotional strength. So I feel like there is a little bit of a disconnect in your relationship. On the one hand, you know, you're happy. On the one hand, you're very happy with this relationship, but on the other hand, it feels like something's missing. Some element of it is not quite right, and therefore, it's not enough for for you to reach that period of, um, you know, feeling totally complete with that person. So there's a lot happening this month. The major thing is social functions, professional functions, and I feel like contracts being signed, it's going to be delayed just a little bit, but... I feel that it's going to be very good for you, okay? And then moving forward, I feel like a lot of you are thinking about your long-term career and your professional life. And you're you're kind of like losing focus and you're not really sure which direction and um, where you don't feel like really cold and cooped up in, the, um, in your room. I feel like it does wonders for your emotional well-being and for your ability to express yourself, okay? I also feel that air signs in general, and I, I see this a, a lot more with like um, Aquarius and, and um, 
Aquarius and Geminis, but also Earth sign Virgos as well. Um, Virgos and Capricorn, Taurus not so much, but you guys, your um, your mind is is racked with a lot of worries, with a lot of anxieties. Okay, you guys are like worry words. Capricorn, I feel like it's innately with their bone structure, but here's what I'm sensing: I feel like a lot of you have uh, a lot of like um, cold hands or cold feet. So the the uh, areas that are furthest away from your heart, right? It it doesn't get a lot of blood circulation. And so getting yourself more physically active, especially, is really going to help you because I feel that your mind races a mile a minute. And um, when you can rechannel that energy doing physical exercise, it's really going to be good for your heart health, for your cardiovascular health. It's also going to help you pump your blood through all the, you know, different uh, areas of your body. And it's really important for you because I keep seeing this uh, thing about, you know, cold hands, cold feet, poor uh, blood circulation. And so I feel that because of that, you might really suffer from, you know, shakes and chills and, and, and things like that um, when the weather is too cold. And so when the weather warms up, you know, make the most of it. Go out, soak up the sun. I see this image of a an amphibian soaking up in the the sunlight and I feel like it does amazing like um, things to your body and for your emotional health so if you have a partner for example and things have not been going great you know have a picnic soak up some sun do some outdoor activities together to try to share that experience with one another and being outdoors is really going to be good for you okay so having said that, let me just go into your reading and I'll um, get to it in a, in a minute about, you know, why I brought up, that up. But let's talk about the foundation and the foundation is something that you know to be true. We have here the Two of Swords as well as the Knight of Wands. So here's what I'm feeling for some of you innately. The Two of Swords is a situation where we are trying to decide how to move forward with a relationship partner. How to, you know, like, what do we want to do? How are we going to work together as a couple? What's going to happen to us? A lot of you are involved here with this fire sign. So this is shown up here as the Knight of Wands, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. There's a lot of people showing up in the spread, but um, let me just get the story out first. Um, something is telling you that, oh, um, you know, they, they come and go in your life and they're very exciting, very attractive as well is what I'm sensing. They have a good heart. They have a really good heart. They care about people. They care about, you know, moral values and um, they're very adventurous. When you're with them, you feel kind of like on top of the world because they show you the world. They show you a lot of new um, experiences and they want you to be with them to experience all of these new things. So you're with somebody that is very exciting, okay? Very, very attractive, very exciting, has a good heart. Um, the problem with this is this is a knight. This is somebody that is uh, still bouncing around trying to figure him or herself out. So I, I have here Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is somebody that um, has trouble staying still in one place. They could also have a lot of trauma or something, some, some issues in their past that they're not ready to confront. And so they go around, they, they go bumbling around, you know, trying to collect new experiences to fill in that void, I, I feel, essentially. And so a big part of you, you know, you, you see this because you're, you're really good. Um, you have a really good judge of character and you understand people's motives on a very deep level. And so I feel like with this person, it just feels to me like they might love the closeness and the intimacy of a relationship. But they don't really, they're not ready to compromise to have that type of a relationship. So it's going to be problematic having a relationship with them. Doesn't mean that it's not going to work. But I feel that um, if given the chance between, you know, new experiences and a relationship, they're going to opt for the new experiences. So they, they are a good person, but I feel that they're, they're still, they have a lot of grown up to do. 
they want to do things on their own, they're very independent, and having a relationship is not something that they're ready to compromise uh, with just yet. I feel, now we're talking about the past, okay? So some of you might be in a relationship with this person, very sexy and exciting and just, you know, passionate and has a really good heart, has a really good heart. And, and I do sense that a big part of you too, like you care about this person, but you feel like something is not matching up, something is just not right. Um, and I feel like you doubt that there's going to be a relationship potential. So if you continue to see this person, I feel that it can be a really fun experience. It can be short term. It can be very short term, and I feel like this person might be younger than you, okay, biologically younger. Not all, but I feel like some of you dating this person, they might be biologically younger. So in the past, we have here the Seven of Swords, and this is indicative of lying, cheating, deception, and overall, you know, negativity when it comes to relationship, being lied to, being misled, being, um, uh, feeling like information has been held from you from a significant other it's linked up here with the eight of swords and the eight of swords basically means that it's a situation that we need to look into that we need to be more mindful of that we need to be a little bit careful about but we're not heeding our intuition and we're also kind of like we don't we feel like we don't have all the information so we're waiting for information to come through we're waiting 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 and as a result we are kind of like stuck and stagnant and not able to move on i feel some of you have dealt with a person in your past where they were very very covert they were very secretive very secretive very um I, and when I say secretive, I automatically think about, you know, Scorpio. So some of you might have been involved with them. And um, I feel that they're already in the past, meaning they don't really matter anymore. But it just feels to me like there was a lot of deception. There was a lot of like, um, you know, um, you have the, the pieces of the puzzle. But it feels like there are some things that are missing. And because you are uh, an air sign, you have to have answers. You have to find out, you know, what exactly happened. You have to know, right? And so you, you still have, I feel like emotionally you're done with this. Because if somebody, you know, cheats or if somebody lies to you, they have fallen off their pedestal. And you no longer respect them. And when you don't respect somebody, you move on, right? But there are still curiosities. There are still like unanswered questions. There are still missing pieces of that puzzle that you still want to find out. You still want to figure out. I feel there is going to be, you know, good news is that there's some information coming to light. We have here the high priestess. And the high priestess basically means, you know, information being revealed, the veil being lifted so that we can see a situation in its full glory, as well as communication possibly about third party interference as it relates to a situation from your past. Okay, I don't feel like some of you are dealing with this in the present time, but there might have been somebody in your past and you're just like, what exactly happened, um, you know? You, you have like you you have the whole narrative but there are some plot holes and you're trying to fill in the puzzle and you might have been thinking about this for the past you know eight months you might have been racking your brains trying to figure it out you're not emotionally invested but you want to know the answers and so we have some information being revealed here we have some uh, solid you know answers coming into the picture and I do feel that for some of you, it might relate to um, the information might be about a water sign. So this is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or if you, I feel like there might be a third party interfering in that relationship and you're coming into, you know, full knowledge of it for this month. Okay, so keep in mind, this is something that's already happened in the past. Now you're, you've already moved on. You're in another relationship. You are with somebody else. It's just some things are coming back from the past. So you have here a little bit of a blast from the past. Not exactly the... I mentioned this before with all the other signs, but I don't know what my June schedule is going to look like. I'll find out by next Friday. So uh, as soon as I find out, I'll open up the appointments for June, okay? Best of luck with everything, Aquarius. Take care. Bye-bye.